Using a drill properly is much more complicated than most people think. Here are five very common mistakes. A frequent mistake is misusing the clutch. Modern drills have both gears and the clutch. The clutch can be regulated in strength. Here is an example. With the clutch of one, it engages right away. At five, it will engage a little later. And even at seven or 11, it can't get the whole screw in because the clutch engages. It is only when the clutch is at 13 that the whole screw goes in. And friends, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Another common mistake is using the wrong drill bits. This is a traditional drill bit. Many use this also when they have to countersink screws by forcing the screw under the surface of the wood. But this often works only on soft woods and usually blemishes the wood anyway. You should use instead a countersink bit, especially on hardwood. This leaves a clean space for the screw with professional results. Another mistake is using normal bits when it is important to perfectly center the screw, for example, when installing door hinges. A self-centering bit is much better because it creates a perfectly centered hole which in turn will result in a perfectly installed hinge and door which is very important precision work. Many make the mistake of using bits that are too wide. For example, with a screw of this sort, many will use this bit, but it is too big as it is as wide as the screw. If you cut the hole using this bit, the screw will be too loose once inserted. Instead, for a screw of this sort, it is much better to use this smaller bit that is about half the width. And when you use the smaller bit, the screw would be much tighter. Another frequent mistake is using the wrong gear. As in a car, the first gear has more torque but less speed, while the second gear has more speed and less torque. The first gear is generally better for drilling and when you drill you need to remember to select the drill mode which will disengage the clutch. Finally, another mistake that many make is not locking the drill button when not in use. Modern drills have a button to be pushed right and left that controls whether the drill moves clockwise or the opposite way to screw and unscrew. But if you push it to the middle, that same button locks the drill. This is particularly useful for those with young children to avoid accidents and also when the drill is transported with the button inserted, locking the drill avoids that the drill accidentally turns on. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if that was the case, I think you will find useful my video that I will link above on the most common mistakes using a circular saw. Thank you for watching and if you have not yet done so, please subscribe to my channel.